Now let's move on to factors. We're going to begin by creating a new section. So factors are another common data type used in R, um, and these are used to store categorical variables. So an example would be our respondent wall type variable that we used before that contained um, different building materials uh, that these houses were constructed from. Um, in those cases, all of the houses kind of fell into different categories, either mud daub, uh, burnt bricks, sun bricks. Um, and so essentially you can bin all of the different uh, houses in those categories, okay? Um, similarly, these factors can be either ordered or unordered. In the case of respondent wall type, for instance, there's no kind of uh, natural uh, ordering or sequence um, to those different um, uh, levels, okay, uh, or categories. Um, whereas if we were talking about something like Olympic medals, we would have gold, silver, and bronze, which do implicitly have this kind of ordering, okay. So let's go to an example to highlight some of the kind of special properties of factors. We're going to begin by creating a new variable, which is going to be called respondent floor type. And here we're going to use a new function called factor. Again, because we're creating a vector, you want to use the combined function here within those parentheses. And we're going to insert four values here. Earth, cement, other cement. Okay, go ahead and create that. And respondent floor type will appear up here in your global environment. So you can already see within our, uh, this kind of overview here, um, that this is a factor which has two levels, okay? So four elements, but they all fall into one of these two categories, either cement or earth, okay? And here, you're gonna see something interesting. Um, you might expect to see actual earth and cement, these kind of string um, variables or string values that we inserted, but instead R is actually storing these as integers. So instead of earth and cement, it's basically coded earth as a two, encoded cement as a one. And you might wonder why is it that earth, even though it comes first in this list, why is that coded as a two where cement is ordered or uh, coded as a one? Uh, the reason for that is just because C comes before E and R naturally uh, kind of codes these things in alphabetical order. So again, there are some functions that we can use here to kind of inspect our new uh, variable. So the levels function, I choose my respondent floor type here. This is gonna tell me now what my two levels are here, cement and earth. Okay. Likewise, I could use the in levels just to return the number of levels that are contained in that vector. And here we have two. So I mentioned that sometimes these um, factor variables actually have an order that's important to respect. Um, so the way that you can kind of tell R that this is an ordered factor is by just adding an additional argument. Um, so just to kind of run through this example, I'm gonna create a new variable here called metals. And again, I'm going to throw in here uh, three kind of levels of metals that you can earn. You have gold, silver, and bronze. And now here, between these two parentheses, so after this argument, I'm going to add a second argument, which says ordered, okay, equals true. And this just tells R that, again, these are um, factors with an order that's important to respect, okay? And in this case, you can see when I print this, that R is gonna say, we have these three elements here, 
but bronze is less than gold, which is less than silver. Okay. All this is saying now is that there's an order that's being stored here along with the actual uh, levels of that factor. But you might notice that R doesn't really know what bronze, gold, and silver mean. And so it's saying that gold is less than silver. Um, it's doing that again because of alphabetical order. B comes before G, which comes before S. If I wanted to specify that the order matters, okay, that gold is more than uh, greater than silver, I could do that with an additional argument here. So again, I'm going to reassign this variable. And this time I'm going to use this additional argument levels. Okay. And I'm going to say, let's put these, uh, I'm just going to copy these over. But I'm going to put them in the order that I want them to be stored. Okay. So I'm going to put gold at the end here, bronze at the beginning. Okay. If I run it this time, print metals. Now you can see that it's been reordered with, with uh, bronze being less than silver being less than gold. Okay, so now I have the order that I want to um, just by using this additional argument here. 